Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club, Don't Kill My Vibe, and the Jubis EJB01. I started off with Neltique's Formula 2 as my base coat. And here is Color Club, Don't Kill My Vibe. This is from the Oil Slicks collection a couple of years back. I'm going to cap my free edge first. I like to do this with many of my polishes and I wish I could remember to do it all the time. I think it just works better for a smooth transition on that end. Helps smooth out that, you know, little bit on the tip. Wrap it around the end of that nail so you get good wear out of these polishes. I'm loving this one. I was really in the mood for some multi-chrome, duo-chrome, and this one hit the spot. Got to pinch that skin back a little bit so I can get over here on the side of my nail. There we go. So, hi, Woody. How you doing? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do my second coat. And for me, two coats is all I needed for this polish. It's perfectly opaque. I love how this one's got that orangey, bronzy color to it when you look at it one way. And then it's gold and green. And I just love, love polishes that do stuff like this. I'm going to top this one with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyl so I can get it to smooth out, dry up, so I can do some stamping. I spotted an image on this Jubis plate that I have not used and I really wanted to use it, so that's how we're playing with this plate today. I was actually trying to find a plate that I had not used at all but I actually have used this one before. So there it is. Isn't that gorgeous? There's a shot of it all on its own. And here is the Ajubis EJB01. I'll be using my Beauty Scraper and my Monocle Stamper and this Beauty Big Bang 001 Blue Metallic Stampin' Polish. I've got that Burt's Bees rubbed around my cuticle area to help with cleanup. And this is a flower image, but you don't you don't really know that it's a flower. It could just be abstract. And I'm going to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry that you cannot see what I'm doing, but I love it. <laughs> I thought these went really well together. I'm cleaning that stamper off on my lint roller, and I'm cleaning that plate with pure acetone and a cotton ball. Using my cotton claw. Here we go with another one. And that cotton claw, um, I don't think that Sally's is selling them again. I just, um, I know that when I had them in the giveaway, people were asking. I just, when I heard that they weren't going to be carrying them, I went into my local Sally's and bought every one of them they had. So that's how I had one for the giveaway. So I decided to put this image on all of my nails except for my ring finger. I'm going to use these butterflies. They were calling my name too. So I decided to go ahead and use them. I just thought they would look really pretty. So I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and clean up. And FYI or, you know, whatever, um, I needed to put the Burt's Bees up a little higher because I got a little crazy with the stamping. But everywhere I put the Burt's Bees, the stuff is coming up really well. So we are going to go in with our little cleanup brush and some acetone. Do a little bit more fine tuning on this cleanup here. Didn't take long though because most of it came up with tape. I'm in love with this manicure. I really, really enjoyed it. I must have just been in the mood for it. There it is, looking all good. So I am gonna use the IMK Peel Ease. It's a smudge-free top coat. Now, I will tell you that since it is a peel-off, you know, base coat, really, uh, you can run into the issue of it peeling off a little prematurely even using like this posh top coat over top of it. 
Now, if you don't want that to happen, don't take it all the way to the end. Definitely don't cap your free edge with that. And maybe it'll stay on a little longer. I don't look for longevity in my manicures, though. So, you know, it's, it's okay for me to do that. I am using Woody again for some cleanup here. I love this one and I hope you loved it. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this crazy manicure. And uh, that is it for today. So I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.